The Rift Trails is an 18 plus whitelisted Red Elm server that favors community, horses, events, and more and pushes them all together. The server is big on trail rides, hence the name Rift Trails, but values other events and special missions as well for players to do their own thing. This server isn't just for horsey people, so if you're looking for a relaxing place to just be and exist on Red Elm without the roleplay requirements, then this may be your next best thing. A lot of gamers are unfamiliar with Red M, so today I will be explaining how to get Red M and how to start on the Rift. If you like these types of videos, make sure to give my channel some love, and I will also be leaving the media to the Rift in the description. My playlist will also be provided down below because with the help of many Rift community members and with the help of Chelsea, the owner, I will now be making tutorials. Red M is a client similar to 5M where you can browse and join servers. It stands for Red Dead Multiplayer. Now this is completely separate from Red Dead Online, so no, playing on Red M will not get you banned from Red Dead Online. I left the link down below so you don't get the wrong website. Once you download this, you can set it up as a normal program. I recommend downloading this in the same drive that you have RDR2 in, but it is not required. It can be downloaded in any drive. After downloading, you will need to have Steam and Rockstar open, depending on which one you own a copy of Red Dead 2 on. If you own a copy of Red Dead on Rockstar, you have to have both Steam and Rockstar open. Red M reads your Steam profile. Or do what I do and wait for the program to tell me what to do because sometimes I don't have one or the other open and it just reminds me. Red M requires you to have a copy of RDO or Red Dead Online, so no, you do not need the full version of RDR, just online. But if you do have the full version, cool, that works too. After this, you will see Red M servers to browse through. You can find new servers often, but most do have an age restriction and or a whitelist via Discord first. Now navigate to the Rift Trails Discord and go whitelisted there. Give the community team a few hours plus to get you whitelisted to the Discord, and then navigate down to the role request channel. Most of these roles are just for cosmetics, fun, or identification, but you will need the Red M role in order to join the servers. I will warn that the notifications are higher on the server, so if they do get overwhelming, just deselect the role request and it'll take it off your profile. After you finish this process, it's time to join the server. There's a few ways to join, but I'll show you the easiest way. First, you have to scroll down to server status. This channel will show the F8 connect command, server status, restart countdown, and more. You will not be able to join unless you are whitelisted, so the steps before this are required. Now, the easiest way, in my opinion, is going to the Red M program and just searching the Rift Trails. You don't need to enter the F8 connect command, but it is there in case you need to direct connect. If at any time you need to leave Red M, just press F8 and type quit. It'll close out the program safely. If you don't do it this way, it may cause problems client side, so just a little tip and reminder. Once you log onto the Rift, you will begin by making your character. So sit back, put a YouTube video or a show on, and relax. For those who hate making your character, well that's too damn bad. It may take you a while to perfect and you can always go back and edit, so don't fret if you have barely any time in the moment and want to go back later. Or if you're like me and see other people with really pretty characters and mine looks like a little potato and I'm like, oh, fine, I'll redo my character. Once you are done making the character and designing your outfit, the game will toss you into the world. Currently, there is no set beginning guide in game that I know of, so I will explain the basics to you. First, there are a lot of symbols on the map, which all can be seen in the Discord. I'll explain the basics to you, but the rest you will have to look up in the Discord or wait for other videos on. The stables with the X are known as the old stables or classic stables. Since they introduced a new horse system, these are less common. You can no longer buy classic horses from the server, but you can buy them from players. There are some differences between classics and sire horses, which are the newer horses, like summoning, breeding, training, and using items like the horse whip and horseshoes. Most players go straight to the sire stables, but just know that classic horses are still very much loved and appreciated. The normal horseshoe symbol is the sire stables. This stable is far different than the classic one, as the menu is enhanced and allows for easier access. You can do things like buy horses, sell horses, view your horses, and much more. I will be explaining the process of tacking and training horses very soon, so stay tuned. I know a lot of you guys are careful on games that allow horses to die, but a little note that horses can't die, they can always be brought back, so jump off that cliff, bestie. Even God can't stop you. Now for the other symbols on the map. The general store is a good place to buy tools like the pickaxe, hatchet, gold pan, special plant seeds, watering pot, and much more. You can also sell items there too, so once you're done harvesting things, you can go and sell them for easy money. Hair can be changed in the saloon like in story mode in Red Dead Online, and your clothing can be changed in the hotel. If you're not a huge fan of your look, you can change it at the doctor's office. The saddles on the map are the training spots. 
This is how you get XP on top of just riding your horse around because you do slowly gain horse XP just by interacting with your horse. The Wild Horse Buyer allows you to buy and sell wild horses you tame, and the Rescue Missions allow you to rescue horses to train and sell or keep in your stables. To be honest, I know this isn't very beginner friendly of me, but you can just walk around and look at different symbols on the map. I'm a nosy Nancy, I like to look at every single location because I'm just built like that. If you're ever confused about a specific thing, just go look on their Discord because once you learn how to do everything, it'll just be a piece of cake. You can just log on and do different things every day. But I will say that it is a little difficult to learn certain things, especially when you're like me, a visual learner. So I'll be trying to do tutorials on every single one of them. Now, how do you get around? Well, the first option is this here creature, a horse. Second is something called TPM or slash TPM. First, flee your horse. Do not TP when you're on your horse or when your horse is summoned. It'll bug you out and possibly injure your horses. Place a waypoint and type slash TPM and poof, you're suddenly a fairy and you're in a new place. Sometimes if you're a little special, you will accidentally TP into a tree or a building. I will be explaining other commands you can use that are very useful later in the video. The Rift also has other areas that normal RDO doesn't, like Mexico. You can TP here directly, and they're slowly adding more to Mexico, so every time I get active again, I see more progress. It is a little buggy here and in other locations, so if you ever see something super buggy, feel free to report it in the bug report section in the Discord. There is also a ticket in Blackwater to Guarma, where you can have relaxing beach rides or set up cross-country courses with friends. I will be showing you guys how to use Spooner, which is a mod that lets you do things like edit NPCs, edit yourself, edit your animals, and also create jumps and create courses. But this is later when Peachy gets her shit together and learns how to use Spooner, aka Peachy Learning Technology. There's also TREC, or the Rift Equestrian Center. This world is separate from the normal Red Dead world, so it requires you to go to the portal in Valentine. This world includes places like their cross-country track, racetrack, steeplechase track, show jumping arena, flats arena, equitation arena, dressage arenas in multiple sizes, and so much for you to explore. There are also races and training areas here too, so if you'd like to train there as well, you can. There's tons of other places you can explore, like certain things that are not there in story mode or RDO, like this barrel arena by Valentine, or random barns that aren't there in RDO. These places that look custom built are called Spooner properties, and I can explain these later. They were placed by God. I am going to be making a video on it, but yes, you can buy a house and lock it like you're the owner, and you can even pay monthly to keep a custom property. The fun part about this server, on top of everything I just explained, to me at least, is how freaking random it is. You can log on and boom, a herd of cows running through Valentine. They have cattle drives, Shetland races, Welsh pony armies, trail rides, competitions, and so much more. There is almost always a voice chat running of some kind. They don't mind if people are muted, so you don't have to talk to participate in much. Some trail rides are literally just listening to music, it's so chill. I do ask that if you come for my content, don't be disrespectful. I would feel terrible if my videos giving this server spotlight meant they get more hate than love. Just be a good person, it's easy. If you go compete, listen to the hosts, be respectful. Now is the time for commands. Some good commands to know are slash toggle chat, which turns your chat on and off. Yes, you can still chat, but you won't be able to see what others are saying. Local is close to you and global is to everyone. Don't chat in global for long, they will warn you, but if you're asking questions, I'm pretty sure it's okay. Do slash hide UI to hide your map and screen user interface. This is good for filming. Do slash free cam to start up the camera. You have little letters to control the camera, like Z for zooming in or Q to remove interface for quick photos. Do the command again to get out of free cam. If you're in free cam, do slash attach cam to attach a camera to your player. Easy for solo filming or for perspective photos without the struggle. Do slash settings to do things like turn invisibility on and off, turn ragdoll on and off, turn on infinite stamina to revive yourself to clean your character, and so much more. Do slash menu to bring up poses, interactions, outfits, and so much more, and also slash h menu to bring up the horse menu for poses there. Do slash my weather to change the weather, good for shots or for not having a thunderstorm. Do slash my time to change the time, good for exact times or for not having to play the game pitch black. Do slash ped menu to bring up the ped menu and also become an animal or another person. A lot of other players play as an animal to goof off or just to have fun. If you run at me as a lizard, I will open fire. A friendly reminder to not go into towns as a predator, it freaks horses and players out. Also, go invincible if you're going to be a bird, or you will meet God a little early. There are a lot of other commands, but they apply to other situations, and I don't feel comfortable putting them in this video without properly explaining them. 
Also, if you're a streamer or a content creator, make sure to hide player names and also hide chat when you're filming or streaming. The fun part about the Rift is you don't have to play all day every day to get rewards. I've gotten super busy and just stopped playing games in general to focus on content and it's the same when I come back. Everyone is welcoming, new updates make it easier, and it's easy to ease in and out of. This community is accepting and they strive to create a comfortable place for one another, so if you ever feel uncomfortable, speak up. It's 18+, plus. we're all adults, they definitely act like it on the team, so this is a safe place to give your feedback as long as it's respectful. A lot of times when I'm on the server, I'm not talking with anybody, I'm not playing with anybody, I'm just training horses or catching wild horses while watching something in the background, so you don't have to talk with other people to enjoy this game, you don't have to make friends, so if you're more of a solo player, that's cool too. Now, let's say I forgot something massive here for starting, which with my luck and my inability to read some things, I probably did. First off, the pinned comment will have any info that I may have missed or special links. Second, everyone is so nice on the server. I've had people stop what they're doing to ask if I need help. People will answer you globally. The Discord is vast but helpful, like tutorials on if RedM is being an asshole or if certain ideas on the server are confusing, so always rely on Discord above anything else. Well, there you have it, a starting guide for the Rift. I do hope to post more tutorials very soon, for example, taming, tacking, and training, property, and a lot of other ones that may not be easy to understand for people who are either brand new to RedM or brand new to the Rift. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, stay healthy and safe and hydrated, and I will see you in the next video or stream.